We are manufacturers of commercial vehicle bodywork uh, and what that means is that we um, design and manufacture from scratch uh, semi-articulated trailers and the bodywork that fits onto uh, rigid chassis. We are known as the innovators in the industry so we continually have to push the boundaries of what we can produce for our customers. Our engineering team, uh, all of which using SolidWorks as a core engineering product, use simulation on a reasonably regular basis to be able to test out various different types of product. I think some of the problems that we've, uh, we've had with the SolidWorks package inherently is the, the time uh, spent to be able to set up the, the models and the simulation runs. Um, and not just that, it's actually the running time itself, so the way in which uh, even the most powerful com computers that we can uh, invest in still have difficulties in being able to process those meshes and being able to process the, the models that we're running through them. The team's first impression of SimSolid was uh, disbelief. Uh, and some of the claims were really a bit fantastical and I think to a large degree we wanted proof of that. We needed to be able to assess the software and go forward from there. Uh, and, and it was staggering. It was staggeringly fast, both in terms of setup and in terms of processing. A good example of the, the time difference would be something like an underrun bar or what general people might know as a, as a bumper. Uh, and effectively, we're testing the stresses and strains on, on impacts and various different um, twists in the chassis. So typically on solid works, it might be a setup of approximately half a day, roughly, um, to be able to process that. And the actual processing time to be able to run the simulation might be in the region of maybe two to three hours. So in contrast to that, SimSolid might only take half an hour to an hour to set up in the, in the first place. Uh, and in terms of processing time, it might take 20 seconds to run that software and be able to provide the, side, the kind of solutions that we're looking for. So there is a, a marked difference, fantastic difference. We took the SimSolid results and were able to submit those results to the DVSA, who then physically tested it, and we found that they were within approximately one millimetre of the deflection that it actually happened. So it was a really, really good tool for us. We, we certainly wouldn't stop using what we've already got. It's inherent with the way that we do things. It's inherent with other product suites that we, that we have on site. So we wouldn't be able to, to turn away from it. But the, the SimSolid uh, software has been able to act as a bolt-on. It's a very simple bolt-on. Uh, and the integration has been seamless. SimSolid has been able to release resources that we would have otherwise spent on different projects. So what we're able to do is reallocate those resources so that it's more effectively used on other projects. But what it really means is the fact that we can expand on that investigation for a particular sub-assembly, for instance. So if we look at a lifting deck, for example, it's not restricted to running maybe one or two different scenarios. We can run multiple scenarios on multiple different products to try and find the best possible solution for our customers. I think my response to other companies who are considering using SimSolid would be that it, we found it quite a staggering product. We were quite surprised or significantly surprised at the results that came out. And I think we would say to anyone else that was considering it, you really do need to evaluate this product. It, is, it does offer real value.